Hi guys, this is Val from Val K Inc. Welcome to 2018. I'm currently suffering from a cold, nothing major, but it's kind of set me back. Anyway, while I'm recovering, one of my favorite things to do is just open a ton of figure boxes. So today we're finally going to attack my WCF haul. These are, of course, One Piece WCF figures. These are the little trading sized figures that you can win out of green game machines in Japan, and they've made many, many volumes. Uh, I know this says uh, volume one, but this is from a much later set. Anyway, they've had tons of sets. I mean, the smokers from vol volume 35, nine figures are usually in each set, unless it's a specialty set, and then it only has six. So anyway, I've been kind of collecting these on and off. A lot of these were gifts. A lot of these uh, came out of Ami Ami grab bag boxes and then the other ones I purchased. Um, it's really fun when you buy these. A lot of them come in these brand new boxes. They get like this really nice uh, plastic wrap. They get little thank you stickers. I love buying them brand new off Ami Ami. They tend to have the gold stickers. And then sometimes when you buy the pre-owned, it looks like somebody tried to eat your box before they sent it. So just a little heads up when you're buying these. The box condition isn't always indicated in case you guys do keep your boxes. Anyway, before I lose my voice, let's start breaking into these. I have a ton of these to talk about today. First up, I am dying to get into this History of Law set. Now this is a specialty set that they did, so there are only six figures. For some reason, Beppo isn't in this set. I don't know, I feel like we could have had Beppo here instead of Dresrosa Law. He could have been in a Dresrosa set. But I really like these three out of the set, so I was able to collect all of those. And I just feel like opening them. I just want to look at the figures and see how this set turned out. Yay! So first up we have Sachi here. I love his big silly hat. It kind of reminds me of Chopper's hat. Of course, he is one of Law's men, so he has Trafalgar Law's uh, crest on the back. And you can't have Sachi without Penguin, so here is Penguin with his typical little Penguin hat. I love these two. I think they're so funny. I really need to find the Beppo that goes with these. I know there is a WCF Beppo, but anyway, that's what those two look like. They're super cute. Love what they did with those suits. And then of course we have Law's Yellow Submarine. I love, I love that it actually says death on the side of it. It just cracks me up. So yeah, was really happy to pick this up. I love whenever WCF does ships. I really, really do want more of these because I think the ships are so unique in one piece and they have just as much character as the captains and the crews that are on them. So yeah, I definitely do want to pick up like a Going Merry and a Sunny at some point, but first off, we have the sub. Next up, we have these 15th anniversary WCFs. This was the uh, specialty clothing line set, so we have these six figures with unique little costumes. They're actually really cute. I just really wanted this Goldie Roger and forgot that I had already purchased a Goldie Roger. So we'll open these up together, kind of compare the two. This is from the Volume Zero set where it was supposed to be historical uh, figures from One Piece, like younger versions of people, uh, other characters that were from the good old days of One Piece before Luffy and the gang. So yeah, we're definitely gonna open these and compare them. The three that I really, really wanted out of this set were these three. I wanted this Law, this Bo Hancock just looks fantastic, and Lucci. I always love anything Rob Lucci. So yeah, we'll definitely um, open these up and see which is our favorite out of this set. And here we go. Here is our first one. We've got a little Law here, and he's not bad. He's not the best of the WCF Laws that I've ever seen. Uh, but he does have a new coat, and he does have his old hat design, so he matches Penguin and Sachi in the back. Really happy to have this one. Uh, I do like his old design. I just like Law. Anything Law is good. So I'm actually going to move the boys over, and we're going to put Law with them. Boo! Now, the next three in this set... Oh my god, you guys. I... <laughs> I adore super dramatic Boa Hancock here. Like, I'm I'm very done with all of her just standing still poses, but give me, like, I'm ready for my close-up, and I really love this one. I, I like to think of this particular boa as the no-drama boa, but man, look at, look at all this drama. I love her. Jeez. And I really like the way the legs are done on this one. Her eyes are actually really beautiful. I kind of wish she had some shiny paint on either her dress or her shoes. Generally, she's bit more styling, but man, what a fantastic pose. I really dig that boa. 
And then we've got Lucci here, oh, and he's just looking baller. Like, why? Why does this dude always look good in figures? He's got this really sweet chair. I love the little, like, drapery on the back. He has this cool coat. He's even holding, like, a little uh, whiskey bottle and whiskey glass. Uh, Hattori's even having his own little drink. Like, <laughs> it's so crazy. I love his little top hat. I'm also a sucker for top hats, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, his little chair looks great. I'm really, really loving this one. Just great details overall. So very pleased, very glad to have that one. Now here's the fun stuff. We have two Goldie Rogers. Oh my gosh. I, I think these are hilarious because this one, <laughs> this, this uh, Goldie Roger number one is like, hi, I'd like to meet your family. And this Goldie Roger is here to murder your family. So both very interesting. I like the stance on number two, but the paintwork and just the sculpt is so much better on this one. I really like this Goldie Roger from the clothing set. Um, for some reason, he just feels more correct. I don't know, maybe this face is actually more accurate. <laughs> just have him hanging out in... He's gonna hang out in the back, I think. Um, yeah. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comments which one you think looks better, but I'm kind of having a blast just opening and looking at these. I really like WCFs because we do get kind of different poses and different characters than you'd normally see in scale figures. So let's move on to my next line. These are all ones that I collected just because I wanted them, just because I like these characters and I get a chance to just talk more. So let's start with uh, Baby Five at the end and move over. So here we have our little Baby Five. Of course, she is out of the Dres Rosa set where we do get a lot of the Doflamingo Pirates. I'm a big fan of the Doflamingo Pirates, um, but definitely Baby with only one I really wanted out of this set. I have plenty of Doflamingo figures, I don't need more, I think. But I love this one, she looks so cute in her little maid outfit. Uh, generally when we see Baby Five, she's in attack mode, she's got her weapons out, she has the weapons fruit power. But here is her little girly, love-struck, starry-eyed pose, and I just think it's so sweet. I just love how different this one is to her typical attitude. Her little red lips are adorable, she's holding a tray. Baby, Baby Five is a lot of fun. I really should have picked up the uh, Figure Arts Zero, but I didn't for some reason. For some reason, the molding looked weird to me. Um, so far with these, I'm not noticing any paint uh, misplacements or any uh, bleed through, and they've all been clipping onto their bases really easily. Uh, I was worried I would have trouble with some of these tiny pegs and some of these lining up parts, but it actually is working out really well. I'm really happy. You guys, I think we have a new contender for best WCF out of this lot. Look at Handsome Duval. I am crying. <laughs> I just, I love his face. I love the way they did his hair. It's really cool. His peg is actually behind his cape, so you don't really notice it as much. He's got his little boots. Look at them, look at them boots. Oh my god, he cracks me up. Uh, very interesting character, very interesting set. I actually wouldn't mind owning this whole set. Um, he actually came out of the fan set, so people got to vote in Japan for which WCFs they wanted to see. And of course this uh, includes like Killer and Laboon. I really want Johnny and, uh, is it Yosuko? I really want those two, because they'll never see figures ever again in their life. And of course, Handsome Duval was also on the list. People asked for this guy, and they got him. Uh, he looks great. I love his little pose. <laughs> his hair is fantastic. Look at, the, look at the little, like, fingers up. Oh, man. He is adorable. What a dork. I really like him. I'm really happy that we got a figure of him. He, he has one of the best profiles I think I've ever seen out of these little figures. Man, he's fantastic. Yeah, definitely one of my favorites that I've opened up today. We're gonna sit him in the back. So here is one of the largest of the WCFs I've ever experienced firsthand. This is the Foxy Pirates ship. Of course, this is from the infamous Foxy Pirates arc, not my personal favorite. Uh, interesting figures out of this set. I really only wanted the ship. Um, one of the most unfortunate things about WCFs is the way they can bend when they're in box. So these are all supposed to be straight, but because of the way this plastic was pushed into the box when they were first distributed, they kind of have a bend. So that happens with these. Generally, they'll straighten out over time. 
I do love the way the ship looks. I've always liked the Foxy ship. This one's cool too because you have two options for sales. You can use the original Foxy logo or you can use Luffy's drawn logos. Um, love the messed up Luffy logo. Had to go with that. But such a cute little ship. I really like it. Hopefully I can straighten these out, kind of work them over time. We'll see what happens, but I'm still really happy to have this one. Just unfortunate that that tends to happen with WCFs. Okay, so these two have to be two of my absolute favorites that I've opened today. <laughs> They're just so funny. Uh, this is Herodas, uh, Herodas, Herodas-san. He is the weather wizard that was training Nami during her time skip. I really love his little, like, bubble umbrella, and he's got that ooh, kind of expression on his face. I thought the little weather wizards were really cute. I just really liked them. It's nice that there's some sort of merch for them. Uh, of course, he came out of Volume 28. This is the second of the time skip sets, and that's why we have Brooke and Perona up there, but we also have Herodas and Heracles. So Herodas-san is very cute. I really like his silly little, like, whale tail beard. I don't know. He's just got a lot of character and personality. He kind of reminds me of Merlin. I just like him. He's just cute. The other one is, god, one of my personal favorites. I thought this guy was so cool in the manga and he was so fun in the anime. I loved his tiny, tiny cameo that he had in Film Gold. Man, this guy is just so cool. This is Heracles. He is the one who was the mentor for Usopp. His armor looks so good. I love his beetle wings and his little tiny feet. He's got tiny feet. Um, and his little helmet. This guy is just so much fun. I really like him and I've always wanted merch of him, so I, I'm very, very pleased with how his WCF turned out. He's just fun. He just looks cool. Put our little beetle man in the back. And of course we're gonna open my personal favorite last. Let's check out this smoker. Yay! Tiny smoker! You guys can blame this guy. This is the reason why I have WCFs. I saw this guy when I was on vacation and he was on sale, so I bought him. And lo and behold, of course, it meant I would end up picking up more of these. But I love Tiny Smoker. Look at his little boots and his little cigars. For anyone that's new here, Smoker is my bae. I really love him. He's just one of my favorite characters. I love the sunglasses he has in the Punk Hazard arc. He's just so cool all around. I really like Smoker. Uh, just really love this one. Been waiting a long time to open it. This, of course, came out of the Dresrosa set. There's a lot of fun ones on here. I really wish I could have picked up Caesar Clown and Virgo and Kane Monsan. Those are like my favorites out of here. Um, but all I got was Smoker. That's all I really need. So that completes all of these. I'm really happy to actually put these out and show you guys. I'm gonna actually see if I can move the camera. There's everybody. So yeah, I really enjoy these. I don't know when I'll be picking up more in the future, but if I do, I'll definitely do another video like this, just a casual opening, not really a full review, just chit-chat, just one-piece chit-chat. Let me know down in the comments if you guys like videos like this, and let me know who your favorite out of these might be. Uh, it took so long to open and place everybody that the sun has gone down, so I think it's time to end this video. Anyway, guys, hi to all of my new subscribers. You guys rock. Handsome Duval thinks so, too. Hi, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.